Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be overclocking the smash screen and uh, yeah, we're not going to be overclocking the CPV yet because I still have a stock cooler on it. It's an AMD 6300 6 core edition. It still has uh, the stock cooler on it and so that will not be good for overclocking, but I can overclock the 1050 Ti and so I'm going to use uh, Afterburner and Unigen Valley. Of course, everyone knows what that's for. Unigen Valley is for the, uh, actually, what's it called? Um, stability testing. And MSI Afterburner is, of course, for doing it. Now, I already added 100 megahertz on the core clock and 500 megahertz on the memory clock is a overclock before I started the video because I was just a little curious. Now that I know that works, I'm going to go ahead and give this a 300 megahertz overclock. I'm going to give a 1000 megahertz memory clock. I'm going to apply that. Make sure this is at startup. Fan setting, I'm leaving that. I'm not, I'm not doing anything with the voltage. You can power limit all the way. I'm keeping the temp limit to 83. And now let's close that out and go ahead and check the Extreme HD preset and let's test it. That's fine, it just it goes like that sometimes. That was bad. I never saw that line like that before. And it stopped working. Okay, so that was obviously a way, way too far of an overclock. Let's try and get this thing out. It actually glitched up. Okay, control to delete. Okay, the graphics card is still working, so let's go ahead and turn that off. I think the this was the problem. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get rid of that. Okay, what, what you just experienced there, let's go ahead and turn that off right away, is the, the graphics card is failing out because I think 300 megahertz is too high of an overclock, and so I'm going to right away try and turn these down. Okay, now it should be fine. Yes, it looks fine. Okay, temps are about 32C. Working all fine. Okay, so that was absolutely no good. So let's put this back at the. Let's leave the memory clock. Let's give it a 450. Let's see that. I know 100 megahertz, so let's try 200. That should be good. Close that out. Let's run the benchmark. Okay, as you can see, it's loading, so it should be fine. We're getting around 40 FPS in the corner. Sorry if you can't see that. Seems to be running good. Temps are around uh, 40 Celsius. Let's go ahead and benchmark it. And now I'll let this run. I'll speed it up, and we'll be right back when it's done. Okay, something just happened. Blank screen. Okay, stuttering. That's not good, so that's... This overclock is also too high. We have to up up the voltage, I guess, so let's go ahead and cancel this thing out. Let's stop this. We're experiencing glitches there, so that's, I believe, I don't really want that. I don't think that's good. Okay, let's go back into Afterburner. I'm running this on Windows 10 Home, by the way, in case you're wondering. Okay, so what did we do? Yeah, we put this up to 200, so let's, let's lower that down to 150. Let's try that. Now 
now I, it loaded again, so that's good. It, it, I, it should be running fine now. Okay, 40 FPS in the corner. Let's go ahead and hit the benchmark. Where's the mouse? Okay. Benchmarking, it's around 57 Celsius. 40 frames per second. Okay, so I'll speed this up and I'll be right back if this doesn't work. Okay, we're back. You can see we have an average FPS of 42.2, a score of 17.65, a min of 19, and a max of 83. And this is the Extreme HD preset. That's weird. For some reason, it thinks we're running Windows 8. Whatever. Okay, so that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and close this out. And now let's try a little bit more. Now, as we've seen, when we put it to 200 megahertz, the overclock on, on the we, when we ramped up the the oh, I'm getting all confused. When we put up the core clock to 200 megahertz, we got it totally out, and that was not good. So now 150 is good. So let's just bump it up a little bit. Let's try 170. How about that? Okay. You know, I, I'm kind of curious now. I think. Probably the reason why it, the screen just blanked out when we put it up to 200, it's probably because it needs more voltage. Probably if I give it a little more voltage, it'll run fine. So, anyways, let's go ahead and benchmark this now. Be right back. Okay, I see there's a. No problems so far, so we can go ahead and stop the benchmark now and quit it again. Okay. By the way, in case you're wondering already, yes, this keyboard is from XP, okay? That's why it's so bad, and that monitor is too. Just saying, in case you're going to comment that. Okay, so 170 worked actually. Let's try 190. Ten below what it took to break it. Well, that was actually so bad that the afterburner was just blowing, so... It should work now. Okay, we got the loading screen. That's better than before. Ramped up to 40, 40 FPS. Up, oh, freeze. Froze. Okay, that's too much. So 170 seems to be the limit. So that's Gunner's the glitch there. So, by the way, in case you, the noise you're hearing, that's because I already told you. I think. I have to stop cooling there. Okay, so that was actually no good. So let's go ahead and turn this down, back down to 170. And actually, let's try giving it plus 5. But that's actually going to 10 more on the core voltage. And then let's ramp this up to 200 again. There we go. 39C. Seems to be going good. Let's put it on again. Got the loading screen. 
and a glitch, so... Yeah. Let's try and get a little more power voltage if we can. I'm gonna have to somehow get out of this thing. Control of the link usually works. There we go, it stopped working. Let's go ahead and turn the core voltage. Let's do a plus, uh, let's say 40, 30. Let's go 30. Okay. I want to find what we need to achieve a 200 megahertz overclock with the Extreme HD preset pushes. Okay. Going up to 40. Let's benchmark it. And a closeout. Black screen. Beginning of the benchmark. So that tells me we're going to have to give it a little more power on the core. Okay. Let's give it a 100. Or, oh, that's full, cool. okay. Let's bring up the core voltage all the way, power limit all the way. Let's keep that temp limit at like, uh, let's say 80. Okay, the power limit has to be there. Okay, so there. Apply. Let's go back into Unigen Valley and run it again. Loading screen, 40 FPS, that's pretty weird. Why is it still staying at 40 FPS even though I'm overclocking it? I have no idea why it's doing that. And a glitch right there. So it seems like we cannot achieve a 200 megahertz overclock without having crashes and stutters, which basically means we, we cannot achieve it. So let's go ahead and put these all back to their defaults. Let's bring up the power limit back up to 100. Let's give this 450 megahertz overclock like it was, and 170 megahertz overclock on that. Apply that. Let's go into Unigen Heaven again, and see how it turns out. Loading screen. 40 FPS again. I don't know why it's doing that. Let's go ahead and benchmark it. Seems to be doing pretty good. Next I have to find out how I'm going to overclock this CPU. I'm planning on putting a water cooler in it, but when I went into the Click BIOS, this is an MSI 970 Mobile Mobo, I went into the Click BIOS, it's Click BIOS 4, and I went to an overclock settings and I just couldn't find a place to add an overclock. I did see that I could get the base frequency, but when I tried changing that, just like 10 megahertz over, the whole system just crashed, so I don't know what to do. Okay, this seems fine, so we already knew that, but that's fine, so. So it seems like all we're going to get is a 170 megahertz overclock on the core. And the, the memory, we can only get a 450, and anything over that also crashed it, so. I guess that's it, guys, so that's the overclock. So it's a 170 megahertz overclock and a 450 megahertz memory clock. That's all we can do. At least that's th I, that's all I think we can do. I don't want to turn up the fan anymore because I don't think because that's not the problem. It was way within the limit. It was only like 40, 60 Celsius. So turning up the fan is not going to do anything. It's just going to make us have some really bad noise. So tell me what you guys think down in the comments down below. I'm, I'll try and answer all your questions if I can, and if I don't know, I'll try and answer them anyways. So, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, or a thumbs down if you didn't enjoy it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.